So let's say you've been going through your manifesting rituals, you've got your vision board filled with hearts and Ferraris and llamas, I don't know, whatever you're into manifesting, and it's not working. You've been doing all this stuff, you think you're doing it all right, stuff is not working. Well, in this video, I want to share one of the big lessons I learned that was something that stood between me and reaching my goals, including if you're into manifesting, why certain things were not showing up in my life. And it's a different kind of work that you might not be doing. So let's talk about that today. What's up, guys? Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day. Now listen, part of the process of me testing out this manifesting thing to see if it was a pile of bull was going through journaling exercises. Now, one or two of the journaling exercises were so key to me to manifest a lot of the things that I have today, five years later, that I've actually put them together in a free online journaling course. So if you enter your email below that first link, it's going to give you an email sequence of these journaling lessons and journaling principles that you can use to do something similar here. So click that first link, add your email, you'll get that right there below. So we have all these goals. Goals to make a million dollars, goals to fall in love, goals to get the dream car, whatever it is. You know, it's kind of, first of all, a little bit suspect. No one's ever like, I want to manifest peace and happiness. Everyone says the dumbest stuff when they want to manifest. No offense, you know. Tons of money, a hot person, and a nice car. It's like no one actually wants anything substantial. But hey, whatever. When it comes to manifesting, we say things like, we want a million dollars and we want to fall in love. But something is usually blocking us from making that happen. Because anyone can say, I want a million dollars, but it doesn't happen. But there are some people it does happen to. And I'm not saying they win the lottery. There are plenty of business owners that are like, I want to build this million dollar business and they build it. What are they doing different? For me, the thing that I've learned is that you have to equally do a process of fear setting if you are doing goal setting. So let me explain that a bit more. You want to have a million dollars. You want to attract your dream person. When I wrote down, I want to have a million dollars or build a million dollar a year business. That's such a huge goal to me that you have to think about what are the fears that come up in the process. So get out a pen and write these down. I wrote down, you know, if I build a million dollar business, what might happen? What are my fears? And so I put pen to paper and I was like, You know what? My first fear is that people will think I'm all about the money. If they hear I'm like a super successful person who also does YouTube and has books, what if they think I did it all just for money? That would hurt my feelings. That's not true at all. Fear number one. Fear number two. What if I'm afraid that all change? What if I become an a-hole because now I have all this money and like I can blah, blah, blah. Just a fear. Fear number two. What if my family Friends, family, cousins, everyone starts asking me for money. I'm like, what the hell? Like, worry about your own life. I'm happy to help, but it's just fear. Put that down on paper. Or what about number four, that all feels selfish? I have all this abundance and other people are struggling. Fear, put it down. So now you've got your goal setting on one side, your fear setting on the other side. And all you do is acknowledge that these are why I'm afraid of this happening. And you just make your peace with them. I'm not saying you do some like deep childhood regression. You just think about them. Like, okay, I understand that I could feel guilt because I have a million dollar a year business and my family is struggling. I I may feel guilty. That's okay. I can help them, right? Or that people will think I'm all about the money. Okay, well, if I want to, I can defend myself. If I don't want to, I don't need to defend myself. Some people are going to hate you no matter how good of a person you are, how virtuous you are. That's okay. You just deal with them consciously so that they're not just lingering there in your subconscious. Now, what about dating, right? You say, I want to fall in love and meet my dream person, but dating is rife with insecurities, maybe more than any other part of life. So again, you have your goal setting exercise. I want to manifest this dream person. On the other side, let's do the fear setting. What are the fears surrounding dating for you? Well, maybe I'm not good enough. Like you're a female, And you want a guy that's six foot two, makes six figures, is kind, is religious, has a good family, all these traits is fit. And you're like, well, I'm maybe not a Victoria's Secret model and I'm 30 pounds overweight and I'm not that financially successful and I'm not even maybe that fun to be around. Why would he like me? So you put that on the paper. 
those are realistic fears. You know, you write those down. Maybe the fear is that men always leave you, right? Again, we're going the the girl watching this, dating a man. Men, the great men always leave me. That's a scary fear. You just put that down on paper. You don't have to deal with it right now. Just be aware of it. Maybe it's there are no good men left. You know, the, the constant shtick with women now. There's no good men left, okay? Maybe true, maybe not true. You just put that down on paper. We don't address the fear yet at all. And finally, how can I find someone like this, a dream person who's cultured and speaks five languages, blah, 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 in such a small town of 10,000 people? That's your fear. That's your limitation you've put on it. You put that down on paper. And so over the weeks and the months, I just want you to observe and deal with all of these things. As you bring them to your conscious and you start thinking about them, maybe you start altering aspects about your life, you're going to notice that these fears that are objections, they're really walls you put in between you and this goal you want to have or this manifestation you want to occur. Once you become more conscious of those, maybe even you deal with some of them, you're going to notice that things start flowing a lot more smoothly. So I hope that helps. Again, the key for me with goal setting, manifesting, whatever word you want to use, it is about, of course, what we do on one level, but it's about we set the goal and then what are the barriers to the goal? Some of them are deeply emotional, deeply deeper in the unconscious or the subconscious that we're trying to figure out, you know, we want this thing, we say it, but then we're like, uh, like mind is like, hell yeah, I want a million dollars, I can retire my parents. And my, you know, my insides is like, uh, uh, uh how, how, like how, that's a shitload of money, where's this going to come from? How? That's the thing you've got to get to shut up, all right? And this exercise will help. Now, don't forget, I've also included that first link is to the journaling e-course. It'll send you an email series on how to do this kind of stuff. And I think is valuable because it talks a lot about my journey and the process I used to reinvent myself using journaling techniques. So you can check it out. First link there below.